Mm -hmm. Hello, everyone. We're live. Welcome to another yoga class. I can see there are a few people connected already. Thank you for being here as always. For those who don't know me, my name is Alicia and I'm teaching at a moment online yoga classes during the lockdown. Um, let's do like an audio check just at the beginning. So if you can hear me properly, just give me a thumbs up in the comments here. Uh, feel free to say hi. I will add some issues yesterday with the live chat, but it seems like it's working now. Um, you're going to wait just a couple of minutes. Oh, Claire is there. <laughs> Hello, Claire. Nice. Okay, so you can hear me. That's good. Um, okay, so today class is going to be a heart opening flow. So we are going to work. I noticed that I've been spending like most of my days uh, sitting at the desk uh, working on the computer. So tend to like curve my spine a lot. Um, going to like this, you know, sort of closure and close position. Um, so today we're going to work in uh, opening a little bit of our bodies, uh, above all shoulders. We're going to work on the hips, so like a few twists, uh, just to, you know, um, again, bring some, uh, some uh, uh, opening on the front of our body. Um, I comment below just because I cannot play music for copyright um, issue. Um, and before starting this class, just a reminder, um, since this class is online, I cannot be there to, you know, uh, sort of like help you out, adjust you uh, in uh, during the flow. Just and there are different people uh, in this class at a different level in their in their yoga path. Just be gentle with yourself. Uh, the purpose of yoga is not to you know what we see evolving these days in Instagram and social media, like doing crazy poses all the time. Um, the real purpose is you know the yoga itself main uh, unity. So find like connection between mind and body. So really think about uh, being aware of your body. Uh, be aware of each position, transition. If something doesn't feel right for your body, uh, it doesn't mean that, you know, don't, don't feel frustrated. It's just might not be right for today or uh, maybe you need to go a bit deeper into your practice and it might take a little bit of time uh, to feel good. So I think we are ready to start. Uh, one last thing, if you think weird noise, it's my cat. Uh, he decided to wake up as always, uh, usually when I start my yoga classes. So just try to focus on your flow and uh, you know ignore external noises. Hopefully, you will fall asleep soon. Uh, and we are gonna start on our back today. So feel free to start your the playlist that I left there now. If you like that as a nice background music, we can start in savasana. So. Open your leg as wide as the, as the mat. Let the feet fall on the side. Arms along the body with the palms facing towards the ceiling. You can stay here or you can also bring the sole of the feet together. Let the knees fall on the side. We're gonna close our eyes. And we take a few minutes at the beginning of the, pra the practice just to arrive on the mat. So start letting go of any thoughts, any worries, forgetting about the day, the to-do list, what you've done today or not done. And start shifting the focus inward. Bring the focus and your attention towards those areas of your body connected to the floor, the earth, your feet, your glutes, the shoulders, the back of your head. And each exhalation, try to let go a bit more. 
almost melting into the mat, feel your body a bit heavier. Now bring your attention towards the areas of your body that are not connected to the mat, like the natural curves of your body, your thoracic spine, the curve in your neck, the palms of your hands. Take the opportunity to reconnect with each single physical sensations in your body. And just check in with yourself, ask yourself, how am I today? How do I feel? And shift your focus towards your breath. And again, just observe how is your breath today? How does it feel? How is the quality of each inhalation, of each exhalation? And remember that breath is always there for you to go back to it. Anytime you feel your mind starts wandering, just go back to your natural breath. And we can start bringing movement in our hands, fingertips, our feet. You can open your eyes. And we're going to bring the knees towards the chest. Let's start giving ourselves a big hug. And then palms on the floor. Lift your legs. So we're going to start activating our uh, the muscle on the back of our legs. And we're going to activate the core. Push with your feet towards the ceiling. So flex your feet. It's a gentle flex, but flex enough to feel the Activation in hamstrings, shoulders down on the mat. And try to keep the legs up to create a 90 degree angle with your body. And with the next exhalation, we keep the right leg up, the left leg fall down, but we don't touch the mat. Inhale. Exhale, change, right leg down, left leg up. Keep your arm engaged. Exhale, change. Keep pushing with your heels. You can, can do this a few more rounds, just following the rhythm of your own breath. Feel the muscles of the legs. Start stretching them, start creating heat slowly, and back to center, legs up, and hug your knees once again. I'm going to bring our hands below our knee, and I'm going to start moving, shift forward, backward, just a few times, until we'll find a seated position, and from here, we're going to move into a variation of cat and cow. So let's start from a standard uh, cat and cow. So we bring the knee under our uh, hips, hands our, under our elbows, and then we go on the elbows. So you're going to work on the shoulder, palms together, press down, inhale, drop your belly down, Open your chest, look up. Exhale, round your spine. Keep pressing through your elbow and your forearms. Release your neck down. And again, inhale, up. Think about lengthening, create this back bend. Exhale, reverse the movement. Release tension on the neck. 
E inhale. Exhale. Feel free to follow again the rhythm of your own breath. Just one more round. And back to center. We are going into a standard cat and cow. And we take a few more rounds here. Just notice the difference of all in the shoulder area. How does this cat and cow feel? How do my shoulders feel? The spine. And back to center. We keep the heels where they are. We just start walking our hands towards the top of the mat. We're gonna find the puppy pose. We can release the forehead on the mat or the chin on the chin on the mat. If this is too intense, you can move a little bit forward, so decrease the angle here. Just see how it feels in your body. Feel the opening, that space that we're creating between the shoulder blades. And breathe into that space. And slowly, we keep the form where they are. We start shifting forward, bringing the legs towards the end of the mat. We're gonna lay on our belly. We're gonna interlace fingers on our back. So palms touch. Start extending your arms and lifting a little bit of the shoulders from the mat. So bring the shoulder blade together. Press with your feet on the mat so that the tight lift. Inhale. Lift up. You can look forward or Bring your gaze towards the ceiling, lightly up, without forcing on the neck, and trying to lift the arms so far from your glutes. Hold here. We bring the navel in. Exhale. Release. We're gonna bring, we're gonna go on our forearm. So we're going to skin pose. Again, press with, your, with the feet, activate the abs and the Bringing the navel in. Inhale, lift up. We can stay here. If you want to go a little bit deeper, just go on your hand. And you can start walking the hands a bit closer to the body. But again, make sure your abdomen is active so that you're going to protect the lumbar spine. Breathe here. Exhale, release. Forehead on the mat. Take a deep inhalation through your nose. Exhale to your mouth. And we're going again on the forearm. This time, make sure that the uh, elbow are aligned with the shoulders. Tuck your toes under, and we're going to. Uh, for the on the plank on the on our elbow, so forearm one. <laughs> Make sure you push with your heels towards the wall behind. Push with your elbows. Keep it here. Engage your eyes. Bring the navel in, and then slowly we're going to dolphin pose. So start walking your feet towards, you know, think about down dog, basically. And even if you cannot touch the mat with your heels, just keep pressing with the heels towards the mat. If you want to go deeper, you can uh, let your head fall and just push with your chest towards the tides. 
Exhale, release the knees, open the knees as wide as the mat. Find your child pose here. Head forward on the mat. Relax the shoulders. Take a moment here to reconnect with your breathing. And this is your resting pose, so feel free to go back to child pose at any time during this practice. And from child pose, tap your toes under, push your hips up, and find your first down dog of this flow. Feel free to walk your dog here. So bend one knee, the other, maybe move your hips side to side. Until you find a stillness in your down dog. I'm gonna look in between our hands, step wall or jump at the top of the mat. Inhale, up we lift, long spine. Exhale, full forward. Inhale, keep your legs bent and slowly, oh, we're gonna raise up, but just vertebra by vertebra. Let the arms soft. That is the last part of your body to raise up. Take a few shoulder roll here. We are in a Tadasana mountain pose. So bring the feet together. Arms alongside your body. Release the shoulders down. Inhale, bring the arms all the way up. Look up, slide, back bend. Exhale, bend your knees, fall forward, hands on the mat. Release your neck, feel free to keep your knees bent. Inhale, half a lift. Exhale, back to plank, and here you can go to Chaturanga, or we're gonna bend the knees on the mat, keep your elbows close to your body, chest and chin on the mat. Inhale, find your cobra, push with your feet on the mat, activate your abs, like navel in, exhale, downward facing dog. Three deep breaths in your down dog, as always, check your foundation here. Make sure that the, the fingertips the, are wide open. You push, almost try to grab, in, to grab the mat and push with your heels. If you're here, that's totally fine, but activate the muscle of your legs. Inhale, look in between your hands, step, jump, or walk at the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, bring the shoulders far from your ears. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, raise all the way up, palms touch above your head, look up. And exhale, hands in prayer in front of the heart center. And this time we're gonna interlace the fingers on our back. Inhale, extend your arms, Bring the shoulder blade together, look up. Exhale, fall forward. Slide bend on your knees, release your neck. I'm gonna breathe here, just a couple of breaths. I will try to let the arms fall. So feel the force of gravity here, bringing the arms down. Exhale, release the hands on the mat. Inhale, alpha lift. Exhale, we're gonna step with our left foot. And we're gonna find our low lunge. So make sure that the knee is in line with your ankle or slightly back. So don't overshoot your knee, protect the knee joint. And each exhale, just go a bit deeper. So feel the stretch on the sauce muscle on the left, 
leg. Bring your, if you don't feel the stretch here, bring your navel in and immediately will feel the burn on the left leg. Inhale, land. Look up. And say we're going to place the left hand on the mat. Inhale, open, twist. If you feel like the back, uh, sorry, the left shoulder is collapsing here, go on your fingertips. So activate the left arm and stay in the trees. And you can stay here or you can bring the right arm all the way back. So we open the right shoulder even more. You can lift the left leg and inhale, open the shoulder. Look above your right shoulder. Exhale, bring the left foot towards your glute. And exhale, let go. And on the mat, lift your left knee, bring your right leg all the way up. So three leg dog. You're gonna stay here, we're gonna bend the knee and open the hip. So trying to keep the shoulders in one line, but open your hips, we can take a few Circle with the knee. So think about drawing a circle with your right knee. Change direction. So we're going to open, start opening our hips. And from here, we are going to release oh, that was a little, <laughs> the leg down. And just walk your fit. Look in between your hands, step down or walk to the top of the mat, inhale, alpha lift, exhale, fall forward. Inhale, raise all the way up, palms touch, exhale, samastiti, asana, mountain pose. And again, we're gonna interlace the fingertips behind our back, open your chest, look up, Exhale, full forward, slight bend on the knees. Release your hands on the mat. Inhale, alpha lift, find the long spine. Exhale, step the right foot back, find your low lunge. And again, check on both legs. So the front one is bent 90 degree or less, that's fine. Here, avoid this. Bring the navel in and activate the sauce muscle on, we stretch the sauce muscle on the right leg, release the shoulders down. Look up, inhale. Exhale, right hand on the mat and twist on the left side. Look towards the left hand. And each exhalation, try going a little bit deeper in the trees. You can stay here, you can bring the left arm all the way back. Lift the right foot and try to grab it. And inhale, open a bit more the left shoulder. Exhale, bring the foot as close as possible to your right glute. So we stretch our right thigh now. Exhale, release. Lift your right knee, push back. Three leg dog on the left side. And again, bend your knee, open your left hip, and start drawing a circle with your left knee. Change direction. Try to keep the shoulders in one line. And back to center, lift the leg and back to down dog. Inhale, 
look in between your hands. Step over, jump at the top of the mat. Inhale, long spine, halfway lift. Exhale, fall forward. Bend your knees, inhale, raise all the way up, palms touch. Look up, slide, back bend, exhale, samasthiti. And again, so let's A, inhale, bring your hands up, look up, exhale, fall forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or jump into your plank, and you go to Chaturanga, so bring basically out push up. Inhale, the knees are left, look up, lift, no lift. <laughs> Open your chest, slide bend on the elbows. Exhale. Then we're facing dog. And in down dog, we're going to lift the right leg up. Again, bend your right leg. Open the hips. But this time, you can stay here. This feels good enough. It's fine. If not, we're going to bring the right foot all the way over on the floor. And then inhale, open and lift your hips. Let the, find this back bend in your wild team pose. So left leg is extended, right leg is bent. And exhale, find your way into tree leg down dog. And we move, we keep moving. So we're gonna bring the left foot down and we bring the right foot all the way over. Think about the side plank. You can stay here or you can try to grab your right foot from the pinky uh, toe side and lift the leg. And exhale all the way to tree leg dog. You can go back to down dog or you can take a vinyasa here. Your flow, your choice. We are gonna meet in downward facing dog. And we move towards the other side. So inhale, left leg up, bend the knee, start opening the hip, and then slowly we control. We bring the left foot on the floor. Inhale, lift your hips, find your Back bend. The right leg is extended, left leg is bent. Exhale. Back to down dog. Left leg up. And again, you can, oh no, Hans, that was my mistake. We're gonna move on the other side. So we bring the uh, left, right foot is on the mat. We're on the edge of the left foot. We can stay here and just open. So working on opening the shoulders, working our lateral, so core pose, or we grab the left foot and we we'll lift the leg. Exhale, release. Tree leg dog. You can stay here, go to down dog, or Take a vinyasa. And from down dog, we're going to release the knees down. And knees open as wide as the mat. And find your child pose. Place the forehead on the mat. We take a moment to reconnect with our breath. Feel the heart beating. Can you slow that down? It was a new breath. Try to drive your breath, each inhalation towards your belly. 
Exhale, let it out through your mouth. Belly needle through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. One more time, inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. And from here, we're going to move again into a down dog pose. Key inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, we're going to bring the knee to our, our forehead. Hold here, and then gently bring the foot in your hands. Run your lunge. Inhale. Lift all the way up. Find your land pose. Check on your legs. Yes, in the meantime, someone ring on my door. Uh, probably a neighbor. I'll check later. Push with your left heel. So activate the left leg. Breathe here. Release the shoulder navel in. Exhale, extend the front knee. We're gonna make a step. So we bring the left foot closer. We're gonna have three options here with the with our hands. We can bring the hands in prayer or grab the opposite elbow. So arms on the back. Or you can try to find the hands in prayer but on your back. If you're here, make sure your elbows are not closed. We're gonna open here as well. We're going to pyramid pose. So slowly start shifting the upper body forward. So think full forward, but think about lengthening. So we don't want this. We don't want to curve the spine and collapse. If you are here and you feel that the spine is curvy, just stop there. If not, obviously go deeper and use your exhalation to find space. Important here to keep the hips in one line. The right, so front leg, is externally rotating, while the left thigh is internally rotating. This gives you stability and also keep the hips in line. Breathe in your pyramid pose. Gaze towards your big toe. Try to extend your neck. And activate your abs. Navel in, inhale. Raise all the way up. Release the hands. Rotate the left foot in, take a bigger stand with your feet. So feet are parallel, slightly turn inward so the toes look at each other. Here we're gonna inhale, hands on the hips, look up, lengthen. Exhale, start folding forward. Again, thinking about lengthening your spine. You can stay here if you Touch the mat. Try to bring the fingers of your hands in line with your feet and the elbows in. Think about chaturanga arm. Release your neck. So we tend to accumulate tension here in the cervical area. Just check. If the neck is here, just pull it down. You can also say no with your head. To release any tension. Try to shift the weight of your body on the whole of your feet. So if you feel like you're all the way on the heels, just move a little bit forward. Connect with your breath. Find that connection, that awareness. Mm. 
Inhale, halfway lift. And we're gonna bring the hands on our hips again. All right, it's all the way up. And we shift towards the left. So here again, I'm gonna go into a high lunge. So start raising your arms, bend your front knee, push with your right heel, bring the navel in immediately. Feel the stretch on your sauce muscle on the right. Look slightly up. Exhale. We're gonna extend the front leg. Step forward with the right foot. And again, find your arm, arms variation. Think about external rotating the front tight, internal rotating the right one. Inhale. Lantern, look up. And so we'll start pulling forward. Release the neck. Look towards your big toe. And think about at each exhalation, finding more space. Going a bit deeper into the pose. Keep your elbows active, so open with your elbows. Feel that stretch in the upper arm. Keep breathing here. Activate your abs, navel in, inhale. Release all the way up. Release the hand, the arms down. And again, shift the left foot inward. Open the legs a little bit wider. We're gonna interlace the hands on our back. Bring the elbows closer to each other. Bring the shoulder blades closer to each other. Inhale, look up, open your chest. Exhale, we're gonna start folding forward and again, Think about bringing your awareness and your focus on your spine. And check your upper body bowl. We want the upper body fully relaxed. The legs are strong. We are young here, but the upper body is the in. So let go, any tension. Try to relax the shoulder, relax the arms. Try to bring your way, body weight a little bit forward towards the toes. And exhale, you can release the arms, the hands on the mat. We're gonna stay in the wide leg. We're gonna bring our right hand on our left ankle. If we're out the ankle, if not, we can stay on the on the leg. Inhale, lift the opposite arm, look up, twist. And exhale, we move on the other side. Inhale, open, twist. And exhale, back to center. And we move the hands towards the top of the mat. Right foot is in front. Step the left foot front. Feet together, bend your knee, the exhale, fall forward. Inhale, raise all the way up, palm touch. Exhale, mountain pose. We're gonna stay in the front of the mat, playing with the balance a little bit now. So bring the feet together with our chest. So we work a lot in, uh, you know, extending this muscle, you know, the sort of counter pose here. We're gonna extend it again in a second. We're gonna bring our left arm 
and on the hip. Find the balance. You can stay here, or you can grab your big toe with the index and middle finger and just extend your leg in front of you. You can stay here, you can open on the side. And if you are here, that's fine, totally fine. Just work on your abs, work on bringing the knee a little bit up, relaxing your shoulders, maybe move your head towards the left. Exhale, back to center. Keep the knee high, but we're gonna bring it on the back. We're gonna try to, let's see, maybe here you're gonna see that. We're gonna try to grab our right foot, so opening the shoulder, and push your right foot towards your right hand. Find your version, your variation of the dancer pose. You can bend the left knee, extend it. Work on the back bend here and with control back to center and we're gonna just move our legs a little bit just to reset. I'm gonna move on the other side so lift your left leg up. Bring the knee as close as possible to your chest. Think about the pose that we always do on our laying on our back. And then hands on your right hip. You can stay here or you can try to grab your big toe and extend the leg in front of you. And maybe go on the other side. The left is my definitely less flexible side. So I'll stay here and I work on activating the leg. I activate the left glute as well, so you help me to lift up the knee. Maybe look on the other side. Think about opening the hips a little bit more here. Back to center. And we move the leg on the back. We try to grab the left foot. Push the left foot towards the left hand. Find your balance first. And then find your variation of dancer pose. Exhale, back to center with control. Release those legs, just shake it out. Let go of any tension. And we meet at the top of the mat, feet together. Mountain pose. Inhale, bring the arms all the way up, look up. Exhale, with control, fold forward, release your necks. Inhale, long spine, halfway lift. Exhale, your version of vinyasa, so you can release the knees down or go to full chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Find stillness in your down dog. We're gonna take three deep inhalation and three deep exhalation. Inhale deeply through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose. Exhale to your mouth. One last time. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, let it go. And we're gonna release the knee on the mat. We're gonna find our way on our backs. Bring the fit as wide as the hips, feet parallel. Bring them as close as possible to the body. So let your fingertips touch the ankles. 
Stay here for a second just to feel the touch and the connection of your spine on the mat. I'm going to place the palms facing down, so palms on the floor. I'm going to bridge boat. So inhale, start lifting your hips, your spine. Think about opening your chest, pushing with your shoulders. So you can stay here if you want to, opening more the shoulders and work a little bit more on the uh, chest opener. Just bring your shoulders, uh, your hands to touch, interlace the fingers, pound, touch, and I press with the hands or with the arms on the mat so that I'm gonna lift a little bit more of my chest, look up, the neck is long. Breathe into this opening, into this space that you're creating, flexibility, strength, Exhale, slowly release the hands, release the spine, vertebra by vertebra. And we're going to bridge again. So inhale, lift your hip, your spine, maybe you interlace your hands and to push the chest up a bit more. Push with your feet as well, so your legs are active. Slight activation on your glutes, but not too much. So don't want to exaggerate here on the glutes. Try to put the pounds together. Long neck. Exhale, release. The spine on the ground. And here you have the option to go and bridge again. If wheel is in your practice, feel free to go in a wheel pose. So for those of you who want to try wheel and you're not too familiar with that, the beginning is the same as bridge. So I start lifting my hip and my back from the mat. And then from here, I bring my hand on the above my above my shoulders, but with the fingertips looking towards the shoulders. One of the most common mistakes in wheel is that we tend to open the elbows, and that's how we lose balance and we don't have the strength to lift up ourselves up. So bring the elbows in, inhale, start bringing the top of your head on the mat. And now, keeping your elbow closed, push yourself all the way up and try to push the chest forward. Release your head down. And slowly <sighs> let yourself fall again gently on the mat. You're going to stay. On our back, just for a second to reset the spine. You can bring the knee together. Just a couple of inhalation and exhalation here. And use this sort of pose moment. It's not just, oh, we're not doing anything. Use them to listen to your body. How did that pose feel? in my body. Was it too much? Was it okay? Does my body feel good with that? This is another secret to deepen your practices. Start listening more to those physical sensations. And now we can hug our knees. Give yourself a back massage, so roll one side and the other. We're going to bring 
the arms on the floor, palms facing towards the floor, lift the leg as at the beginning of the practice. Push with your heels. You're very welcome to stay here. And just notice the difference in this pose now, you know, after almost an hour of flow. Or you can bring your hip towards your shoulders, oh, sorry, above your shoulders. And then bring the elbows close to each other first. Then place your hands on your spine, fingertips facing towards the ceiling. And slowly, we're going to find the shoulder stand pose. Make sure your neck is long. Avoid moving your neck here. Point your toes if you are in a Shoulder stand. You can close your eyes. And from, if you're in shoulder stand, bring your legs all the way over above your head. And if the feet touch the floor, also release your arms and your hands on the mat. If the spine hurts, that's fine. Make sure to keep your neck long. Start to deep your exhalations here. Very slowly, wherever you are, I'll find our way. Again, now we're back. I'm gonna release the legs, feet on the mat. I'm gonna extend the left leg down the mat. Hug your right knee towards your chest. Try to keep the left glute, heel, hip, and leg on the mat. Then we're gonna bring the right arm inside the right leg. Grab the outside edge of your right foot and go in a half happy baby here. So. You're gonna push with your with the right heel and pull that foot down, the knee down towards the floor. Always keeping the left side of our body on the on the floor. So here it can help to maybe release the opposite arm, the left arm, on the on the floor on the side. Release, bend the knee, grab the right knee with your left hand. We're gonna twist towards the left. So bring the right knee towards the left. Right arm open on the side. Look towards the right. Make sure that the right shoulder is on the mat. So I'm gonna feel a full stretch. Starts from your right shoulders, across the right side of your upper body. If this doesn't feel intense enough, you can bring the right knee a bit closer to your chest. I'm going to close your eyes here. Listen to those physical sensations. Trying to relax. Deepen each exhalation. Each exhalation is a bit longer than the previous inhalation. Inhale. Back to center. 
Release the right leg down. Bend the opposite leg. So grab that left knee, bring it toward, bring the leg towards your chest. Hug it. And then the left arm inside the left leg. Find your half happy baby on this side again. Make sure the right side of the body is on the mat. Here you will feel it, like you will tend to do. <laughs> you just leave because it's easier. So just press with your, um, activate your right foot. Activate the leg and try to press towards the mat. You will feel the difference in the stretch on the left side as well. Breathe here and breathe in this stretch. Exhale, release, grab the left knee with the right hand, and roll over, bring the left knee all the way towards the right. Open your left arm on the side, and in line with your shoulder. The left shoulder is on the mat. So if, let's say, you're here, so the right knee, the left knee is halfway, if this happened, just bring the shoulder down and leave the knee where it is. Again, don't try to overdo. Listen to the body. We don't want pain. We want to feel the stretch. And close your eyes here. And again, think about each exhalation being a bit longer. To help muscles to relax and invite flexibility in your body. Inhale. Back to center. Give yourself a big hug. Bring your knees, your legs towards your chest. And then find your way towards the most important and also the most difficult pose of this practice, which is Savasana, the final relaxation. So for the legs as well as the mat, let the feet fall on the side. Release your arms, palms facing towards the ceiling. Make sure your neck is relaxed, your shoulders are relaxed. Take any adjustment to then find complete stillness. And Savasana is one of the most difficult poses because it asks us to just observe the total stillness of our body, but also of our mind. With no judgment, without trying to control. Just observing. Just letting go. Let every single part of your body melt here. And you are more than welcome to stay in Savasana a bit longer, as long as you need, really. Enjoying that stillness, enjoying that quiet space that you created within yourself. If 
Now, if you can also start moving your body, so we're gonna bring movement back into our body, reconnecting with the external space. Feel free to move any part of your body, starting from the fingertips, the toes. Inhale, take like a big stretch, bring your arms all the way up. Feel the stretch in your body and exhale, hug your knees. Give yourself another big hug and then find your own way slowly, no rush, into a seated position, trying to keep, in, to keep your eyes closed. You're gonna bring the hands and pray in front of the heart center. Bring your attention towards your breath. Bring your attention towards your body. Bring your attention towards your mind. And now ask again yourself the question that we asked at the beginning of the class. How am I? How do I feel? And hopefully you'll feel a bit better, hopefully a bit more stretched, a bit more open, whatever the answer to that question is. Just be aware of the answer and maybe start asking yourself that question a bit more often. I'm gonna bring our chin towards the chest, bow gratitude to yourself for making the time for this practice. Thank you for giving the possibility to guide you and for sharing your practice with me. Namaste. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the class. Thank you for everyone who stayed with me for the entire hour. No matter the distractions, we had the cat today, we had the neighbor uh, ringing the bell. I guess that's the beauty and the reality of the lockdown and of online classes. It's all real and live, of course. Um, if you have any questions, this is your moment. Feel free to use the live chat to ask me uh, whatever you like to. You can also leave comments in the video. I will uh, read them later. Um, if, uh, what I want to say, yes, <laughs> next classes are this weekend. So I'm going to do one class in English on a Saturday morning at 11 and one in Italian uh, on Sunday morning. So... Feel free to join. The one in English is going to be in Yang Yoga uh, with a focus on uh, increased flexibility, sort of flexibility training. You can call it that way. The one in Italian on Sunday is going to be Vinyasa. So similar to what we did today, uh, focus on different areas, but a more dynamic flow. And uh, yeah, I again, thank, thank you for connecting. Thank you for being here. And I hope to see you next time. Hi, Elisa. <laughs> Thank you. Namaste.